everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all this is my victoria's secret haul they had a sale i want to say maybe two weeks ago five for 35 and i had passed on the last one because i was holding out for seven for 35 but i don't think we're gonna see that one anytime soon so I decided to, at the time I ordered this, they had just released their first, you know, fall line. Since then, there have been two more. So yeah, I'm already behind. <laughs> but in this video, I'm just going to show you what I purchased. And we're going to smell some of the items, but some of them I'm not going to smell right now. I'm going to do a separate video, but I'm going to show you what I got. So I'm going to start with the fragrance mist and things we're not going to smell. So I picked up Victoria's Secret Temptation. This is in the original line, and I've never had this. I don't even remember how this smells. So I picked up Temptation. I picked up Love Spell because I wanted to experience the entire signature line from their fragrance mist. And Coconut Passion, picked that one up. Midnight Bloom. I've heard a lot about this one, so I'm glad I have it in my collection now. And lastly, from their signature line, I picked up Amber Romance. And I did wear Amber Romance, I want to say when it first, not when it first came out, I don't know when it came out, but I wore it as a teenager. And I was, I was when I first discovered Victoria's Secret, I was so excited, but I never fell in love with it. So we're going to see if I like it more as an adult in another video that will be coming soon. So this is their first um, fall autumn release, and this is Harvest Moon Gaze. Like I said, I'm gonna do a separate video talking about each of these. This is Sliver of Sun, hmm. okay. And this is Wonder the Meadow. And this is my favorite packaging, Lost in a Daydream. I wish I was lost in a daydream, shoot, right now. <laughs> Y'all, it's a lot going on. Okay, so let's get to smelling some stuff, okay? So these are the three fragrance mists that were released from the Radiant line and some, another line during the summer. And um, I smelled them in store, but that was, a, I think that was in June when I smelled them. So we're going to smell them now. This is Velvet Petals Radiant. This is Bright Watermelon, Kiwi Burst, Velvet Petals Gets Glowing. And I tend to like all the Velvet Petals that have been released. The original, the flankers now, I am in love with Velvet Petals. And this, ooh. It's a warm, fruity, it smells. Smells kind of like DNG3 Lim Patrice. I wouldn't say it's a dupe, just smelling it right here. But that's what it reminds me of. If you like the, I can't think of it now. It came out not like the summer before last. Uh, melon sorbet. If you like melon sorbet, you'll probably like this. I melon sorbet is a little too warm for me. This is warm, but has a brightness to it and a lightness to it that I like. So I did pick up the mist, and I decided to go ahead and get the lotion in this uh, fragrance because I really, really like this when I smelled it in the store and I still do now and next you know I had to get bare vanilla radiant and this is brilliant berries passion fruit crush bare vanilla gets glowing and with I can't smell what I'm saying 
I was surprised. I liked this one as much as I did when I smelled it in the store. Let's see. Oh, I really like this. And it reminds me. This reminds me of something, though. Is it from Bath and Body Works? This reminds me of Bath and Body Works, the new Pinkberry Dream that came out, Pinkberry Cloud, that just came out not too long ago for their big fall release. That's what Bare Vanilla Rady reminds me of. More vanilla. This is like Bare Vanilla with a hint of berry sweetness added. Oh, I love this. So I also got the lotion in Bare Vanilla Radiant. And uh, those were the only two I purchased from that line. I really wasn't interested in Love Spell. I don't remember liking it. Pure Seduction, that's the one they didn't send me. I thought they didn't send me something in my order and they did not send me Pink Seduction. Y'all, I knew it was something. It was just bothering me. So now I have to go look at my order. I have to go to the store and and get it. Because I'm not waiting for one miss to be shipped. If they'll honor it in the store. Oh, that just annoys me. Because I was like, I'm missing one miss. I'm missing one. But it didn't come to me. And it just did. Pure seduction. So I didn't get that from the Radiant line because I've never been a really big fan of Pure Seduction and that's why I wanted to get it and really try it out and see what I thought of it now. Cause I was a love spill, not, not love spill, secret crush. Love, Pure Seduction replaced Secret Crush and I love Secret Crush. So I was like, I don't care about Pure Seduction. So I don't know if I really, really dislike it, the original, because I haven't smelled it in years, okay? But I have not been blown away by any of the Pure Seduction flankers. So, I don't know. But we're going to find out because I will be getting Pure Seduction. <laughs> so, the only fragrance mist that I wanted from this summer line, I think it was something about water. This was Nectar Wave. So pretty. This is Fresh Agave Pink Berries Go With The Flow. And I thought I was going to like this entire line and i did it's they you know it smelled good except for that neroli one that's the one i really was interested in because you don't see neroli mist but it was a no for me who knows if it pops up at sas in december or do they have theirs in january Vic victoria's secret what if it pops up my nose might my sense of smell might have changed i might like it by then this is just a nice fruity it's nothing with a hint of aquaticness to it. It's nothing mind-blowing, but I knew if I didn't get this one, I would wonder about it and think of it. So I am glad I have Nectar Wave in my collection. All right, I also picked up the lotion in Midnight Bloom because I have smelled this. I thought it was on sale at the uh, Summer SAS when I went in the store. And I was like, oh my goodness, I, I want this. But it wasn't on sale, so I put it back. So I knew I wanted the lotion in this uh, fragrance. I don't know about the others yet. So you all, this is new from Pink and I saw it and I was like, I don't know, I don't know. Cause with Pink fragrances, some I really like, but then some don't last and I'm, you know, they're not my go-to. And I said, I'm not gonna just get a bunch of them anymore. I'm gonna have to really like it. But I saw Wild Cherry and I said, I have to get it. I have to get it. This is Dark Cherry and Pink Honey. <gasps> in the world y'all this has leaked and when i opened it it just went everywhere okay victoria's secret y'all y'all be tripping man <laughs> well let's just smell it oh i think sorry y'all i had to stop and wipe that up that was bothering me i might be going this nozzle seems to be loose and so I might be going to exchange this this weekend 
Because I'm not going to be, you know, pulling off the top and, and fragrance is going to be going everywhere. And quite a bit, you can see it's down to there now, it's gone. I do like this. This is like, let me spray this on my hand. I got a little bit, but it's it's very soft. I do like this cherry. It's not like the cherry. I can't think of it from Victoria's Secret where it had the ch wild cherry. Was it wild cherry? Had the cherries all over with the lips on the mist. That is, I just wish they would bring that one back so badly. This is like a kind of a syrupy, sweet kind of jammy cherry i like it but it's like it's so faint i don't know if it's my nose though well i know i haven't been smelling that much today but yeah i can tell i do like this but i do think let me see let's turn it over let's do this see if it leaks yep and it did so this one will be going to be exchanged but i do like wild cherry it smells really good and i did get the lotion to go with it because oh yeah they seal theirs i forgot because i have just been i love cherry fragrances now that i'm finding some that don't smell like i've said before to me berry fragrances cherry raspberry they can have a cheapness to them unless it's done right to me. And I am liking the cherry fragrances I've found. So love this, packaging is beautiful. Okay, we only have three more items. So this was on sale, I wanted it during the summer, it never went on sale, so I got it now. The water scrub, because I didn't get the one from Bath & Body Works when it was 75% off, and that's how it looks. Smells really fresh and clean. This is with hyaluronic acid and sea minerals. So I got this to go with my, you know, my hyaluronic water body wash and cream from Bath and Body Works. So I'm glad I got that. And I'm so excited, even though this leaked some too, but I don't think they carry these in the store. This is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Shower Gel. Y'all, this smells oh my goodness this is a mess i don't know why they don't why they didn't have a seal on this okay you seal your lotions and everything why not just go ahead and seal this oh my god this smells so good if you love bare vanilla if you wanted a vanilla body wash that was strongly fragranced of vanilla there you go I don't regret that at all. That's the only one I was, well, no, I lied. I wanted Velvet Petals, but it wasn't online by the time I decided to place my order. So if that one pops up and I place another order for the, the new fall scents, which I'm trying to wait for a sale better than three for 30 because I was, I was like, oh, I have a coupon. I'm just gonna use my coupon. Y'all, Victoria's Secret, they won't let you use the coupon code when I try it because it says the items are on sale. So if it's three for 30, they won't let you use the coupon. These have to be $18 a piece for you to use that little old measly coupon. And so I was like, uh, no. So I will be waiting. I don't know when I'll be getting these, I these other items I wanted to get. We're gonna have to see because I understand that the company is suffering and they're trying to, you know, not go bankrupt, but you know what, neither am I. <laughs> so I gotta do what's right for me. So the last thing I purchased from Victoria's Secret is this beautiful handbag, you all. This is my first big handbag from Victoria's Secret. I've only purchased, um, shoulder bags and mini crossbody bags that like that but this one i passed on it when i saw it online and this was on sale still from this sas summer sas and i was like i just don't know the one i saw in store in this color block pattern it was the shoulder bag i didn't like it in this but in this pattern it is so pretty to me i and in love with this bag and I can't wait to carry it. So pretty. 
All right, you all. So that is my Victoria's Secret haul. You need to stay tuned because I will be doing a video, separate video, reviewing the um, fall line and a little something else that has been requested. So please stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me, have you you know, bought some of these fragrance mists that I showed you and what do you think of them or any items I bought, just tell me what you think or what you're looking forward to purchasing from Victoria's Secret because they're dropping their fall stuff, trying to act like they bad them body words. We just can't blink. It's, it's stuff coming out every day, every other day. Please share this video with everyone who loves Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, who loves to smell good. Just share the video with everybody, y'all. Let's get to 5,000 subscribers soon, 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 okay? And please turn on your notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.